control. That is true power. Your body is useless and frozen. Your will is broken and shattered. Surrender your thoughts. They are no longer your own. Just forget. It'll be easier for you. How's it going, Rogues Gallery, and welcome to our very first Grand Archive spoiler video here on Red Zone Rogue. I hope you all enjoyed the intro to the video, and I do want to give a huge shout out to my lovely partner, Robin, for doing the voice of Merlin for that intro. I think she did an absolutely brilliant job, and I can't thank her enough for her time. I'd also like to thank the Grand Archive team for allowing me to preview one of the very first champions in their very first set, Dawn of Ashes, that is set to release later this year. And Grand Archive in general is one of my favorite new up and coming TCGs, if not my favorite new and upcoming TCG. It's just a absolute blast. The art is fantastic. The creators really care about their game. There's a thriving community that already has tournaments, even though that the game's not even out yet. Like I said, it will be launching later this year in 2022, and I am really excited for it. So let's talk about the two preview cards that I was able to share with you in today's video. Merlin Verator and Freeze Stiff. Now let me grab my phone here so we can actually read what they properly do. Let's talk about Merlin Memory Thief. So I do have a little bit of lore about Merlin. Her name is Merlin Verator, and she is an absolute awesome character. There's actually a ton of lore already written for this character. I'm not going to read all of it here because there's several paragraphs, but it's some good stuff. Like, she is a secretive and alluring sorceress who quickly established herself as a potent mage and advisor in the Asian kingdom. Merlin entranced those who first encountered her with her captivating smile and haughty gaze. There's a little bit more to it there, but I'm gonna skip ahead and read the part about how Merlin regards others like pawns to be moved on a chessboard. Adept at ice and mind magic, Merlin dominates and controls both individuals and the battlefield on which they fight. She strips her opponents of their spells, locks their movements, and shatters their wills. Um, I really love this one part at the bottom. It says, Merlin's appearance is the harbinger of calamity and will set off a chain of events on a scale the Grand Archive has never before faced. Man, that is so cool. I love that they're already setting up and building their lore. And then I got to preview this character who is the harbinger of destruction, which is awesome. I, I really love her character design. She looks fantastic. She looks way... Uh, cuter than you would think a diabolical mastermind who literally steals people's thoughts would be. And I really, really love it. So let's talk about the card itself. You probably had enough time to read what the card does. So Merlin Memory Thief is a level two. She costs two to play as well. Um, mage human champion with lineage break, which means this champion can't level up. Um, she's also at the common rarity. So she's going to be really, really good for limited play or for decks that want to build around what she does. And she literally steals memories, which is really cool and flavorful. So she has the tap ability to choose a card from a graveyard and banish it. If that card has floating memory, put a level counter on Merlin. And the level counter just says champions get plus one level for each level counter on them. And we know from what we've already seen in Grand Archive that mages really, really want to level up. I mean, a lot of champions do, but mages have um, extra effects or they have spells with extra effects depending on their level. So we can use Fireball as an example of a spell that you know goes really, really well with the level mechanic. Also, she has 22 health. So I think she's just gonna be really, really good in limited, you know, sealed and draft play. And you know me, I love my limited formats, sealed and draft. I can't wait to play some Grand Archive Limited, maybe with some Merlin, which would be really, really cool. But 
I think she's also gonna be cool in her own, you know, kind of style of deck. You know, she only goes up to level two, so you can't get up to that level three, and she doesn't have any special, um, you know, attributes as well. She's just like a normal type champion, but I still think she's really cool, and that art is fantastic. And before we talk about uh, Freeze Stiff, let's just show off that uh, collector rare art. It looks so good with that signature and the full art. It looks absolutely phenomenal. I would love to pull one of these in the, I think, 11 boxes of Grand Archive that I have ordered. Um, looks fantastic. I think these collector rares are going to be really, really sweet in person. I cannot wait. Um, let's also talk about Freeze Stiff. So this is a pretty simple card. It is a water card. It's a three cost action mage spell. Rest up to two target allies. If either of those allies are attacking, negate their attacks and end the combat phase, which is really cool. Class bonus. So you get this bonus if your uh, champion is a mage. You can actually play this card in a non-mage deck, which is awesome. But if your champion is a mage, um, those allies don't wake up during the controller's next wake up phase. So they just kind of stay, um, they, they stay rested. So you kind of lock them down for a turn, which is fantastic. Also, it's a fast card. Obviously, so you can play it on your opponent's turn. You can play it whenever you have the priority to do so. And um, I really love this character. They gave me a character that looks awesome. Like, I really love her character design. Um, I think Freeze Stiff is going to be a fantastic card to play in Limited. And probably also in, like, Control Decks as well. We're trying to uh, maybe playing with Merlin and, you know, leveling her up so you can do some big old wombo combo kind of stuff. Um... Yeah, I think these cards are awesome, and honestly, I really can't wait for Dawn of Ashes, the very first Grand Archive set. I, I'm so I'm so looking forward to it. I already have some ideas of some fun stuff we can do um, on the channel and in the uh, Rogues Gallery community. I know I'm super looking forward to Grand Archive launching later this year. I hope you are too. Definitely check it out if you haven't already. Like I said, I have some videos on this channel already of Grand Archive. I have some gameplay with the developers and I will have more in the future. I really, really like this game. I think it's legit. I think, honestly, if you're watching this far, I think if you are a fan of games like Force of Will or even like We Cross, that you're gonna really like Grand Archive, especially if you're someone who used to play Force of Will and you're looking for another game kind of similar in the, the same veins. It's sort of similar, but it's unique enough to feel very, very fresh and a lot of fun, and I think it's a t it's an absolute blast to play. So highly recommend it, especially for you old school Force of Will players. Um, it's very different than We Cross, but it has the excellent artwork that We Cross has. So yes, <laughs> not enough rambling. Thank you so much for watching this. A huge thank you to Weebs of the Shore for allowing me to spoil Merlin, Memory Thief. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you next time.